Hey YouTubers, so if you are struggling to hit that 1,000 subscribers milestone, trust me, you are not alone, okay? I am currently at 865 subscribers and every single one feels like a victory. Today, I am taking you through everything I have been doing to get here, what's working and what I am changing, and then what I'm planning to finally cross that finish line to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> um, first things first, has anyone felt like... Um, getting that first 1000 subscribers is way harder than it seems let me know in the comments if you are on this journey too i would love to hear what's going on for you before i get right into my all right so let's talk about what has been working for me okay one big game changer has been finding and sticking to a niche i would admit it i wanted to do it all if you go down to the very beginning of my channel you'd see that i was doing a lot of things i was doing vlogs tutorials random challenges trust me i did a lot of things but i noticed my growth really took off when i focused on talking about youtube challenges uh, challenges youtubers face youtube growth and all of that stuff so once people started recognizing me for what my channel was about my views and engagement went up so um let me know have you found your niche yet okay or you are still trying to um um figure out try different things or you are still you have found your niche actually but let me know i am curious to know that <laughs> to know whether i'm alone in this experience but i think um finding my niche and sticking to it has been really really helpful in growing my channel and i think that um if you are also looking at growing your channel growing your subscribers being um you know finding your place in the youtube world you should try and find a niche and then stick to it trust me over time you will get the views the subscribers and all of that engagements that you want another lesson i have learned is quality matters it doesn't have to be perfect okay in the beginning i thought i needed to get a camera honestly i was really focused on getting a camera before i started but guess what I'm just using my phone, okay? And I'm using natural light. I'm using a ring light as well. And then I'm using an editing app that is free, CapCut. So I've gradually gotten better at lightning, um, learning a few editing tricks here and there. And over time, I have improved. The key is, is, is to just start, okay? And then you improve bit by bit. Rome was not built in a day. And so um, learning on the job is very, very um beneficial trust me so i'd like to hear from you have any of you felt stuck because you don't have the best equipment or uh because you feel like you have not gotten the perfect location the perfect whatever it is you think you need i would like to know in the comment section but trust me you do not need fancy stuff to get started i promise you okay but if that is what you feel or how you feel please drop in the comment section let's interact i'll happily share more details with you as you drop your comments now let's talk about the experimenting here yeah? so this one is huge <laughs> i i tried short videos i tried long videos i used uh, strong hooks or even adding some storytelling to my intros um for instance you would see if you go to my page you would see that i have tried going live i did short form content doing shorts i tried that as well i tried a two minutes intro with a mini story and funny enough most of these things actually worked you know some things worked others didn't but that's how you learn what your audience wants okay so um learning on the job like i mentioned earlier and then experimenting helps in building that subscribers building your channel building your community over time so what's something you have tried out on your channel that surprised you um i know that when you try out something you'd be skeptical about whether it's perfect or it's not perfect will people like it or will it be liked will you get the views funny enough it's those videos or those um ideas that you feel like would not work that would actually get you the views and blow up you'll be surprised okay so but let me know in the comment section if you have experienced anything like this um have you learned what your audience wants and how was it experimenting with different content ideas did it go well or did it go otherwise so i would love to hear your experiences in the comments please drop them below another thing i have found um very helpful is focusing on keywords and staying on top of trends you know i didn't realize at first how much titles and descriptions matters for getting discovered now i use tools like um, vidiq 
ChatGPT to find keywords and make sure my video shows up in search results. I used to name videos with random titles, but now I am super intentional. In fact, um, most times before I create a video, in fact, all the time right now, before I create a video, I already have a title. I go and search for um, what people are really searching for. What I use keywords that people would actually type in to get um, that video. Okay. For instance, instead of calling a video my YouTube channel, I might title it how I am growing to 1,000 subscribers like this video. So it is searchable. Okay. Um, I make sure i stay on top of trends as well vidiq is a very very helpful tool that you want to key into trust me it has helped me a whole lot okay so if you feel like um you are stuck download vidiq it's free there's a free version and the free version works just fine if you do not if you want to upgrade feel free but the free version works just fine gives you what you need and gives you the value for what you get okay um so i'd like to also know how you guys are doing it with keywords i know that it can feel like a whole lot of science a whole lot of jargons but um i'd like to find out your thoughts your experience so far how has it been with you trying to get the right keywords and staying up top of the trends please drop your comments below and then one of my favorite parts is engaging with my community. <laughs> Seriously, with every comment, it's a chance to connect with someone who might be your next subscriber. I make sure to reply everyone. I make sure to reply everyone. Even if it is late, I would definitely reply everyone. I make sure to reply everyone. And it's amazing the difference it makes. Okay. You'd be surprised how when someone drops a comment and you reply, you start a chat from there you start to connect with um, people from there. Even if I had one viewer who kept coming back to my videos after we chatted in the comments, that makes a lot of difference. Yes. And I have had viewers like that. People who would chat, drop a comment, and I reply. At the end of the day, they just keep coming back to my videos. I have personally noticed it. Okay. So communicating, engaging with my community has helped a long time. Way. I don't know if you have experienced this as well. If you have, please let me know in the comment section as well. Like, you know, someone just comes back again and again and it feels so rewarding to build that connection. It feels like you have a close bond with this person. You know this person personally, okay? So this in itself has helped to build my community, helped to build my channel because when they feel like they are part of you, um, it, it's like home, okay? When you are comfortable somewhere, you feel loved somewhere, you'd always go back there, right? So that's exactly how um, your YouTube channel should feel. When people drop comments, please do well to reply. Do well to communicate with them. Do well to chat with them. This uh, might be your next subscriber. Because most of the time, when you watch a video, you either forget to comment. And then when you comment, it is not a guarantee that you would subscribe. But when you connect with that viewer and that commenter, you'd be amazed at how much um, difference that would make. That person could subscribe. That person could share your video with other people. Yes. So engaging with my community has helped me a whole lot. In fact, it's my favorite part. I always look out for comments from viewers and I am always very happy, always very happy to um, drop a comment, always very happy to reply the comment. And in fact, sometimes this comment turns out to be chats. We are always, we are going back and forth, back and forth, communicating, of course, not, um, <laughs> not arguing, but just sharing ideas. So if you have experienced something like this as well, please drop in the comment section. Let us connect. Right now, I'm at 865 subscribers and I am determined to hit that 1,000 subscribers. I know I will get there, um, but it's been a journey of learning, experimenting, and connecting. So if you are in the same boat, remember that every simple step, every little step, every single step counts. Trust me. Every view, every comment, it all adds up. And if you have any tips that has been working for you, please share them in the comment section. Let us grow together. Let us connect. Let's help each other. We'll leave the whole box of small YouTubers. I always try to remind myself that um, big YouTubers started this way. No one started the first day they started um, with a million subscribers. Probably unless uh, Ronaldo, <laughs> because he's already a public figure. But Regular humans like myself, me and you, we all started small. Even if you had gotten your friends and family to subscribe to you, but you still, you do not have friends or family of up to 1 million 
10,000 um, people, 100,000 people. Do you understand? So when you, um, when they started, they did not start with that huge amount of followers or subscribers. They grew over time. And so I have come to always realize or remind myself that growth on YouTube is a gradual process. For some, it might be faster. While for some, it might be slower. So do not compare yourself. Comparing yourself is the thief of growth. Trust me. When you compare your progress to another person's own, it would hamper your growth. Okay? So that's it. My current strategy, my progress, and my next steps to reach that big 1,000 subscribers. When we get to that 1,000 subscribers, we're going to throw a party with my community. <laughs> Thank you for being here and cheering me on. And uh, if you want to follow along on my journey and, you know, see how close I get, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers together. If you found value for this video, if you enjoyed watching this video, please drop a like, share, comment, and please do not forget to subscribe. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye!